Hey guys, it's your girl Phoenix File. What's going on? How are you lot doing, man? It's been a while. Um, I haven't dropped an interview in a minute, but it's alright. I got y'all. I thought I would do a quick breakdown. Just because I haven't dropped anything in a minute, man. And I've got a lot of catching up to do as well. I've just been busy with real life shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, alright, I'm not breaking down again. Volume 5 card. So I'm going to do a quick prediction on how I think it's going to go down, alright? Well, the first battle is Averb versus DNA. Now, basically, I got DNA. I was going to go on about it, now this and that, but y'all already know how I feel. I don't necessarily feel like Averb should have taken this battle, but Averb be making a lot of bad decisions. Um, DNA with a clean win. If it's not a 30, all right, I'm going to give Averb a round, especially if he got a showtime. Um, I always love his showtime, so if the showtime's there, and if it hits, then, and they usually do, then I'm giving him a round, but I've definitely got DNA winning. DNA was going to have more angles. He just got a, a lot more. I feel like Ava, but right now I don't feel like people are fucking with Ava as much as he thinks they are. Even though some people, I don't know, man. I just feel like most people have got DNA winning this battle. And if they do, that's a bad look. Anyway, what does that say about Verb? If we've all got him losing this battle to DNA, if he supposedly just beat Lux, which he didn't, but you know. The proof is in the pudding, guys. He didn't beat Lux. Because y'all think he's going to he's gonna lose to... Not y'all think. He's going to lose to DNA. Ghosts don't do shit like that. He's just taking any battle. Like, not any battle. DNA is like a legend in battle, right? But... I don't know. He makes the worst life decisions. But anyway, moving on. Sue Surf versus Reed Dollars. Come on, guys. We already know how this is going to go. I don't know what Reed Dollars was thinking of taking Sue Surf. It ain't going to be good for you, son. I'm telling you now. Clean 30. Dirty 30. Clean and dirty. A combination. Either way, I'm not even giving Reed Dollars a round. Surf, clear win. No disrespect to Reed Dollars. It's just my opinion. Surf got this shit in a bag. <laughs> he gonna be laughing all the way to the bank. Definitely. Um. Okay, so the next battle is Arsenal versus Chess. I'm excited for this battle. I want to see this battle. I love all chess battles anyway. I, I watch... Well, I watch all battles, but Chess is like a great performer, so he's always, and he, his bars, he's a great writer, his bars are interesting, he's always going to come out with something new, so I want to see what he's going to do, definitely. Arsenal is a legend in battle rap, you know, but, <sighs> I don't know, Arsenal, I don't know. I got Chess winning this battle, 2-1. I definitely got Chess winning. I feel like I'm going to like his material more. I'm going to enjoy his performance more. I feel like, yeah, his bars are just going to be better and more enjoyable. Like, I feel like Arsenal's going to come with a disrespectful stuff. I mean, having said that, if we get the same Arsenal that battled Twerk or Geechee Gadi, hopefully we get that. This is going to be a dope match anyway. But I can only take... So much of the disrespectful bars, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really like creativity with the bars, not just pure disrespect, like the whole three rounds and stuff. So let's see anyway. I still got hope in Arsenal, but I've got Chess winning this battle, 2 1. Definitely. Alright, so the next battle is Rum Nitty versus Chilla Jones. Um. Now, this is a great battle in terms of the pen. Pen-wise, I love the pen. And Chilla Jones is up there. Top, top 
three, to let's say top five pen in battle rap. Top five, and easily top three. The only problem I got with Chilla Jones is that delivery, that slow delivery. It's just, I don't, it's not necessarily, I don't like it that much, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. It's I, you know, I mean, I did in the day, Chilla Jones is, he was the, um, of the person in my favorite battle of all time, JC versus Chilla Jones. So, everybody, and that's a classic in battle rap. Everyone gotta give him his prop for that. Um, but Rum Nitty is something else, man. Something else. He's just crazy. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm gonna give it to. This isn't really easy for me to call because you just don't know what Chilla Jones is going to say. He's crazy with that pen, for real. His wordplay is crazy. crazy. But so is Rom Nitti. And then Rom Nitti's got the aggression. He's got the performance. Do you know what I mean? Like, and that is very important in battle rap. I realised that aggression is something that is pretty important in battle rap. You know? So, um, yeah, if I want to call it, I'm giving this to Rum Nitty 2-1. But it wasn't easy for me to call because it could be Chilla Jones. And Chilla Jones kind of deserves it, but I feel like I'm giving it to Rum Nitty 2-1. Because I, I just like Rum Nitty marginally better. I like his style of rapping better. He's fire. Pure fire. Um, okay, Oh, let me, can y'all hear that? Let me turn this down. I'm watching John Wick. Let me turn it down. Um, okay, New Jersey Twerk versus Av. Now, I am looking forward to this. This is going to be a match. I'm excited for this one. I'm excited. Um, how am I going to call this battle? Yo, um... New Jersey Twerk versus Av. I like Av, you know. I like Av a lot. And I like Twerk a lot. Um, this is going to be a classic. I feel like this is this has the makings of a classic, actually. I really do. Hmm. I know I've Twerk been fucking up a bit lately, though. Av is a solid, solid, is always solid, you know, the rapping and stuff. Um... I feel like this is a classic. I don't know, can I? Can I predict the classic? If I have to edge it, I'm definitely going to have to say... Av. <laughs> yeah, my boy Av, I feel like he got that. But, um, let's see though. Twerk's got, he's crazy man, he's unorthodox with a pen. You don't know what he's going to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Twerk has said a lot of stuff, like, he just... You didn't even see that shit coming, like, and like, what? What? So, I hope he's going to be a lot of that. But, if I have to call it, I'm going to give it to Av, just based on Twerk's recent performances. I'm basing on that. But definitely, I feel like they're a dope matchup. Do you know what I mean? And, um, yeah. But I got Av. Um... The next battles, Gichi Gadi versus O Red. Mm. <sighs> Do you know what? O Red is like a top tier battle rapper. Do you know what I mean? He's fire, and so is Gichi. Gichi's fresh and and he's refreshing. I'm going with Gichi Gadi, man. I got Gichi Gadi two one. Sorry, O Red. But ever since your two fell out in that battle, man, I've been looking at you with one eye, fam. Sort yourself out. Gichi Gadi is going to win this battle. That's what I think. Um, definitely. So, yeah. Ooh, the last battle, Ace Armin versus Swamp. Now, I'm seriously looking forward to this. I know I said I was looking forward to the other battle, yeah, but I'm really, this one, this one. <laughs> so, yeah, this one. I can't wait for this battle, trust me. I, I don't think I can call this battle just yet, just because I just want to see what's going to happen, because I like both of them a lot. 
Ace Armin, he's got that, you know, the aggression, the, uh, the intricate writing. I feel like he's a very intricate writer, to be honest with you. He said some bar the other day, well, when I was watching his battle, um, and it was about, it was like a, a line, like a uppercut. And he ended it with an uppercut, it was an uppercut kind of bar, but go watch the battle but it was fire i don't really feel like people was like i don't know if it was over the head some people called it but i thought it was fire i felt like it should have got more reaction than it did it's crazy he says a lot of crazy things you know, you know what i mean when he said <clears throat> um you got a problem i want one i thought that was fire he says little things like that i feel like I'm really creative you know what i mean i know when we said that before um swamp fire 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 i love his delivery i love his creativity i think he's funny he had that knock knock uh now which one of you motherfuckers want to finish the joke fire like i always say that one because i really like it because i wasn't expecting that and it was funny and it was fire it hit you know what i mean like it worked out so this battle i don't know how i can call this man it's way too hard for me to call just because uh, I don't know. They've got two completely different styles. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to toss a coin or something. Should I do that? <laughs> I'm gonna toss a coin. F it. Man, where's a coin when you need a coin? For crying out loud. Man, do you know what, guys? Has this ever happened to you? Buy, like, for example, like a pack of pens because you like always losing pens you can never find a pen and you're like yeah i'm good i got all these pens now i should be good and then the day you need a pen but can you find one bloody pen though no oh my days i cannot find a damn coin oh hold on what's this hold on man this ain't even a coin okay it's gonna have to do No coins in this damn house. Do you know what? Yeah. How do you shoot a card, you know? Coins are so old school, seriously. Who'll be walking around with coins in their damn pocket or bag or whatever? I literally don't have any coins. Oh, hold on. I ain't got no damn coins. Oh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this is crazy that I'm going to use a coin to call this, but it's that hard. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I found a coin. <laughs> them them shell cases <laughs> oh shout out to chess that was fire okay so heads it's ace armin tails it's swamp so i'm gonna throw it hold on i got carpet i hope this ain't gonna affect the throw but let's go huh? so i'm throwing it now it says heads <laughs> There you go. The coin has spoken. So, um, that's it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that. <laughs> December the 14th is going down, and I'm excited. Can't wait. This car is going to be fire, 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 fire. Um, so, guys, listen. I know I ain't dropped an interview in a minute, but I got y'all. So, stay tuned for my next draft, okay? So it's like a surprise drop, but just stay tuned. I got y'all. Um, it's your girl Phoenix Fire. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all of that. I'll catch y'all later. I'm out.